the overall PC gaming experience that you get on a 48-inch LG C1 OLED TV is amazing, given that you have the hardware to run it properly. But what if you wanted to go wider? No, not ultra-wide, but super ultra-wide. Is it doable? Is it feasible? Could you? Should you? Well, that's what we're looking at today. Now, the long story short, yes, you can most definitely do both 21x9 ultrawide and 32x9 super ultrawide resolution gaming on the C1 old TV. The black bars which you get have pixels nicely turned off and in a darker environment, the effect is quite stunning. When the game supports either 21x9 or 32x9 resolution and can increase your horizontal field of view correctly, then the experience that you get, depending on the game, is amazing. In Valheim, for an example, you get this proper FOV increase natively and you can simply see more to the sides of your screen, increasing the immersion quite a bit. There is a caveat to playing your games using this method though and no, I'm not talking about the uneven wear on your organic LEDs, it's actually the size of the display and I didn't think I'd ever say this, but 48 inches is simply not a large enough display, for 32 by 9 that is. In order to give you some context, the 48-inch LG C1 display measures around 116 times 61 centimeters in width and height. If you force a 21 by 9 resolution on this display, you will be giving up around 17 centimeters of display area, leaving you with around 44 centimeters of actual horizontal play area. This is really nice, and I must say that these are pretty much the exact measurements of my imaginary perfect 21 by 9 display. When you go even wider than that, to a 32x9 resolution though, you give away an additional 14 centimeters of viewable play area, which leaves you with just around 30 centimeters of height on the display which can show you the game. Honestly, this is not enough and it starts feeling really weird to play games with such an aspect ratio. What makes the regular 49-inch 32x9 displays work is the fact that they usually wrap around your vision a bit. You view them a bit closer up than 1 meters away and they also tend to be a tad bit taller than 30 centimeters. Not much, but a bit. The Odyssey G9 being 35 centimeters tall, and although these 5 centimeters don't sound like much, when you decrease the distance between your eyes and the screen, the display starts looking quite a lot bigger naturally, which is a thing which you cannot really easily do with the C1, not without investing in a custom heavyweight monitor arm anyway. Performance-wise though, it is all pretty good news here. The main ultra and super ultra wide variants are both trimmed down versions of the panel's native 4K 3840x2160 resolution. When going 21x9, it is argued whether 3840x1600 or 3840x1620 should be used, but when going for 32x9, then the resolution should be 3840x1080. As you can imagine, this means that not only do you get the benefits of an ultra-wide screen, but you also gain some performance with it when comparing it to the native 4K resolution. So, to sum it up, both the 21x9 and 32x9 aspect ratios can surely be used on the LG C1 OLED TV in a PC gaming configuration. The black bars are not an issue, especially in a dimly lit room as the pixels used for the black bars would simply be turned off. Performance is also a bit better than with the native 4K resolution, and when the game properly supports it, then I would personally always prefer an ultra-wide resolution over the 16x9 widescreen standard. I do feel like the 32x9 on this panel is a bit of a stretch, and personally I wouldn't do it, simply due to the minuscule amount of screen height that this aspect ratio provides on this display. It might give you an immersive experience on a true 32x9 49-inch curved display, but on this 48-inch Z1 it's just not working for me. But what is working for me is the 21x9 ultra-wide resolution. It is absolutely perfect for this screen size and hits the sweet spot for me regarding how large of an ultra-wide display I would like to have. I have always felt like 34-inch ultra-wides have just been a tad bit too narrow and this feels like it fits the glove perfectly. There are of course some concerns regarding the uneven wear and tear on your OLED pixels when using such aspect ratios, but I have stopped caring about all that. I have already got a dead pixel smack down in the middle of the screen, and if I can live with that, I can also live with the knowledge that I am pushing this panel in many ugly, unintended ways besides running ultra-wide on it. 
such as using it as a daily driver for work with a ton of terminal windows and code editors. At least, I'm enjoying it, and so should you. If you have or are planning on getting an OLED display, don't go looking for issues, don't babysit it until the cows come home, but don't deliberately push it to its limits either, just enjoy it. Anyways, I'm starting to blabber again, so it's best to wrap things up. If you enjoyed this, consider leaving a like or subscribing for more future content. If you have any specific topics you would like me to cover or have some ideas how I could improve these videos further, then please do let me know in the comments below. And until we meet again, I would like to thank you very much for watching and may you have a lovely rest of your day. Whenever, wherever you are. Bye-bye.